Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showroom and today we're going to take a look at the Altura Photo Professional Camera Cleaning Kit. It's very important after a day of shooting to make sure that your precious equipment is nice and clean and ready for your next outing. Honestly, we should do this on a regular basis because the longer the dirt and the grime and the smudges stay on the camera, the more difficult it is to clean. So I just do it every single time that I come back from a shooting. So the first thing we want to do is we want to use the professional blower that comes with the kit and notice how I'm going to hold the camera at an angle to make sure that any dust particles that are on there are dislodged and fall off. I'm not going to do it this way to try to push the particles further into the unit. And you want to do this from the side, the back, the top. You want to make sure that you try to get every single particle that's on there off of the camera because we want to get rid of all the larger particles first before we start doing any more of the heavy cleaning especially the cameras that have the swivel screen you always get grime stuck somewhere in between the grooves here so you want to dislodge all this as best as possible then i'm going to go and use the standard brush that it comes with this is to now gently remove any other pieces especially in the viewfinder they love to accumulate in there and on your hot shoe and another place that it happens is our pop-up flash so you want to activate that to make sure that you get any particles that are living in here a lot of times we don't remember to clean this area because the particles get stuck in there and then eventually we don't have our pop-up flashes working anymore and that's because some of this stuff gets lodged in there and mucks it all up. Then the next step is I want to work on the lens so I have a professional cleaning brush tool that comes with it. On this end you have a carbon surface cleaner. Now this carbon is good to clean any kind of multi-coated lenses, viewfinders, LCDs, but you never want to use this on anything else because it actually will leave a mark. So we're going to gently dab this over the areas where I have smudges and you always want to clean around the outer area and the center and then you want to close this back up. This will maintain the integrity of the carbon and now I'm going to use some of the Altura Photo Lens Cleaning Tissue Paper. Now this is lint free, so this is guaranteed not to leave you a bunch of dust particles that now defeats the purpose of what we went through. And notice there's that, that black carbon, it's, it's gotten rid of all the grime. This is great because some of us are just not good with fluids, so there we go. Now, I'm going to work with the little built-in brush to make sure that if there are any more carbon particles, I'm going to brush them out, get all that out of there, and close that back up. It also has a nice convenient little clip if you want to put it into your, into your shirt pocket. Now I'm going to clean my LCD screen with the Magic Fiber. I love this little guy because it cleans perfectly and it doesn't leave any smudges or smears. Plus I'm also going to use the Altura Photo Optical Spray. This is great for today's multi-coated high-end optics and our LCD screens and our viewfinders. This leaves no residue because it's ammonia free, alcohol free. It has no scent, no taste, no coloration so it will not harm anything. I'm going to basically put couple of dabs in the corner there and then I'm going to clean right across because wow this is really smudged up due to the fact that we're used to working with a lot of these new touch screens and they tend to pick up oil and smudges very easily and I'm also going to clean inside the viewfinder because when I'm doing my photography I like to shoot through the viewfinder I don't I only use my LCD for my videos and I always get the drier portion to make sure there's nothing on there that will impede in my imaging. And now last but definitely not least I'm going to use the Altura Photo Professional Cleaning Swabs. 
These are meant to clean APS sensor cameras like the Rebel that I have here. Now, of course, you have to set the camera up for that. So you need to go into your menu and on this camera, it'll be the tool setting that says sensor cleaning. So when you activate that, you want to make sure that you use the one that says clean manually. You never want to use the clean now or the auto clean. Those aren't going to do the job. This one is the one that's going to remove the reflex mirror out of the way and allow me to clean my sensor. So you scroll down to it. It's going to ask you whether you want to activate the mirror up feature. You hit OK. You hear that noise. That means now move your lens and there's your sensor. So the way you want to do this is, first of all, this is a quick procedure. You snap this until you hear the little breaking point, and then you run across twice. I like to do it two times to make sure. And again, don't keep pressing that because you don't need excessive fluid on there. And then immediately get a hold of the dry swab and run that across twice. And there you go. You now have a fully clean sensor. And now you turn off the camera to make sure that your reflex mirror is back to normal position and remember to put these guys back in storage that's why it comes with a resealable pouch so that you can keep using it over and over so now your camera is ready for a, another outing in this adventure we call photography if you like this video remember to click the like button underneath and subscribe to our channel happy shooting